We're on stream. Don't worry about that's it. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> now we got we got Klaatu. We got Jangy. We Klaatu, probably the best Olimar. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely in California. He's, he's, yeah, he's definitely. super high up there in Without general. Without a doubt. And Jangy's been on a tear. So she, I know she plays, I think, in San Francisco usually. But uh, she's, no, she's, she's actually South Bay. South Bay, okay, cool. She occasionally comes up to San Francisco. Yeah, I, sh this is her first time at WNF, to my knowledge. Definitely the first time she's been on stream is this week. Oh. And she's killing it. It's great Yeah, she's making her. a very good first impression right now. Yeah. Yep, and a really good grind on Flatu's damage right now. Just... Putting, keeping him off stage, uh, but Batu I think has the item. No, wait, no, Jengi has the holy water right now. Just throws it down. Yeah, correct. Yeah, right, because he doesn't, like, uh, Jengi, sorry, she doesn't really want to, uh, she didn't really want to risk it right there, so I yeah, understand. I, yeah, I can understand that. Like, she really wants to take advantage of the whip and using that up B. Right. Up, getting a little bit of leverage, also keeping Jank, I mean, uh, Klaatu just off the stage right now. It's, it's like, you don't really see Klaatu getting, like, out, just outplayed like this. It's very rare, so I'm just not used yeah. to, like, Yo, dude. saying Klaatu is getting outplayed right now. No, no, did you see that Holy Water just go off midair right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's... Alright. But, um... Jengi doing a few risky options right there, trying, just trying to get in. It's very... I can imagine it's very hard for Richard to actually get in on this character. Yeah, but you know, in, in, in while that while you were talking there, uh, Jengi lost her stock right there. Just, but really good play from uh, Klaatu using the down air, and even though it didn't spike, it killed off the side. Yeah. So Klaatu getting that leverage, yep. getting that leverage he definitely needed. And Jengi just still try playing her own game right now, just like not letting Klaatu like yeah. play correctly. Oh, Klaatu really uh. Getting stage control right there very fast. Yeah, very fast. and um, Jengi's trying to play on her own pace, but Klaatu yeah, but is really Klaatu just find, doing yeah, Klaatu damage. Yeah, found the answer. Yeah, she's, like despite Jengi playing at her own pace, she's just taking a lot of chip damage because of the Pikmin. Yeah, and that's just not really letting her get the leverage she needs. Yeah. Like, I'm, what she really needs right now is just to hopefully not get hit by Olimar up smash again. Well, yeah, that, and just not get hit by a lot of Olimar's heavy moves as well that's gonna that's not that wouldn't be good for a game plan because she'd be down to stock <laughs> yeah def definitely definitely but all right some forward tilt from Jenny. With, that with that shitty well right now make sure make sure she doesn't get hit yeah she doesn't she can't get hit here obviously, i mean it's but, just very easy don't get hit yeah <laughs> if you're getting hit you're probably losing like well, right yeah. now she's getting hit she's losing yeah, but it's just hard to not get hit in this situation because Olimar can just throw Pikmin at her. But she, she's she's working her way back up, though. Like, she's already got some damage on yeah, Olimar. She's, Ooh, that she's, re she's really uh, she gets getting the leverage she needs right now, yep. which is very nice. Getting multiple axes there really oh, helping her very, out. Very, very good up smash. Yeah, and that surprise up smash. Jenny oh, was surprised he, by that. I'm actually getting there. a white, a yellow, and a purple, so that's very dangerous right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice tipper forward yeah. tilt there. Yeah, that was very good. It's like diet F smash. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, Jenki really just wants to get a setup on Klaatu just so she can get an yeah, relatively easy stock. Yeah, because really, Jenki is definitely fishing right now. She's like getting really worried. Yeah, like, but and I understand oh, nice because tech. oh, that was, yeah, that was very good. But, but I can definitely understand Klaatu's play style is very uh. Once you get like Klaatu is a player that plays very very well when he's in the lead, and that's very scary to play against, especially with a character like Richter that can't really go in like that. Yeah. And uh, Klaatu's doing a really good job avoiding Jengi's oh, setup very, and that up air. Up air yeah. That's going to take first game for Klaatu there. Yeah, very, like, very, very good. But yeah, Klaatu. no. Like, Klaatu's been doing a really good job avoiding Jengi's setups. Like, she yeah, might definitely. need to adjust a little bit. You know, not make it very clear that she's going to go for holy water on the, on the ledge. Yeah, right. She's definitely gonna have to mix up her options a little bit to make sure uh, she doesn't get caught. She doesn't get caught lacking like that again. Yeah, that and um, she just. I feel like she just needs to react to Klaatu's recovery option because yeah, definitely, definitely. She's just um, oversinking and trying to read too hard into Klaatu's recovery. Right, correct. And here we go, going back to the second game, going to the second game, uh, same stage. Yeah, I mean, PS2 is a pretty good stage for Yeah, this is a good stage for both characters because they bro they're both projectile characters, they enjoy camping, they do not like going in, and PS2 really gives them the leverage to do that. Yeah, and... And Klaatu well. just starting off very, very strong. Unlike last game where, uh, where Jenki was actually starting off the strongest and getting an 80% lead last time, and now it looks like the tables have turned. Yeah, and... And the Holy Water exploding in the air, getting a lot of damage off on, uh, Jenki. Jenki trying to, uh... 
just wall Olimar out right now. She doesn't really know. She doesn't really know what she can do against this character. Just very, like she, I feel like she feels like she's very oppressed right now, and not able to like just play the game normally, which is which is normal because it's Plot Two. He's one of the best players in the region. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. But um. You know, she still but, has decent damage on Clock. Yeah, too. yeah, it's just a miracle that she's getting damage at all. She's doing very good at uh, at least playing around with the damage that she currently has. Like, she has 160 and she, like, that no after, but she was at 160 and she was still living. Yeah, I mean... So really the, dodging those uh, attacks. I feel like the key for Jengi <coughs> for, it would be just having her kill at around this percentage right now. Yeah, like, th that would be very, that would be very, very good for Jengi. Like, Jengi is a has actually done a really good job just staying alive oh, very, and there very we go. Very, very good uh, Holy Water F Smash. That's exactly what Jengi needed. Yep, and it's pretty much evened out the game. And if Jengi can live up to 160 again on this stock and kill her opponent around that percentage, it's it's going to look good for her, but yeah, she's already taken 71. Yeah, that's just how Olimar is. He just, like, does, he does damage. Yeah. But, you know, it, she's done a decent job of avoiding the kill setup, Ooh, but... And a very, very good up smash from uh, Foxy right there. Yeah, I mean... As, not uh, as his hack would say, easy peasy. Not much he, she could have done there, like... Yeah, like... The, uh, what, what was she gonna do? Spot dodge? Like, even would've got hit anyways, shield, uh, probably... Probably could've got shield poked. Yeah, and, you know, she already threw out up tilt. Yeah. She's definitely getting the percent off now, which is, which is very, very good. Yeah. But it's still... But she's still down a stock, so it's... She can't really do. She can't really do too much. Okay, nice parry yeah. into up here. Yeah, that was very good. And it looks like she's uh having a lot of trouble finding out where she actually wants these axes to hit because it looks like she's just throwing them willy nilly while Olimar's going towards her and like, and that oh. doesn't just it does not look like the smart thing to be doing in this situation when Olimar is definitely up a stock and I understand that she needs to get that stock off as fast as possible so she can like get back in this game pro right. uh, proper. She's but standing alive, like, though. Uh, oh, very, nice. very good recovery right there. I mean, all she has to do is really just stay alive right now. Like, yeah. What she really needs right now is either a fourth or at the ledge, or just like a, just yeah. or confirm something, just something. Oh, very good diet smash right there. Yep. Here we go. Yo, She's my ledge trap is nasty. Yep. There. Yo, very, very good forward here. Let's see if Jenga can actually bring this back. I, I personally believe in Jenga. I think she can do it, but Olimar's just oppressive. Yeah. I mean. She's I definitely don't doubt her abilities, though. Like, like right there, that almost, that almost hit her. Uh, and there we go. That's that is the game she did. And she did very good, actually. Yeah, she did pretty good game too. Um, honestly, right up to the end, like she really just ran out of options. She yeah covered the forward smash really well with that forward tilt, but that just led her to getting fared there. Not much you can do there. It's 